This video is sponsored by ManyBidets.com. They are family owned and operated for over 10 years in the United States and they work with customers to find the right bidet for specific situations. Hey, welcome back everyone. This is JJ Central DIY channel and today we have an Eco Nova bidet sent to us from ManyBidets.com. Thanks to ManyBidets.com, I get to test this and do my honest opinion on this. So let's do the unboxing installation and see the pros and cons of this particular bidet. So this is kind of like the Honda Civic of bidets, does everything for the best bang for the buck. Let's get into the video. A full on seat, not just an add on bidet, but it is a full on seat and it does require electrical connection because you don't need a hot water for this bidet, it heats up uh, the cold water um, so that is one thing nice uh, seat with pressure sensor and every feature will go over once we install but in the box is the mounting bracket and an awesome remote that controls the bidet and you just need a cold water connection it also comes with some hardware quite simply the T of connection to get the cold water from your toilet to the bidet and then some mounting brackets that goes on this bracket uh, 3 volt uh, 2032 common battery that is for the remote I believe and then a locking mechanism for uh, the hose to stay locked and then we have these uh, top mount seat um, bolts first thing first you take your old seat off and you know basically take these uh, screws off and you can take the old seat off and we put the new seat in right, it comes with these uh, top mounting seat bolts I'll wiggle it around and make sure it's nice and flat next thing you use the provider template and you make sure the edge of the toilet is with these folds of these nozzle edge fold and the dryer fold you put this uh, bra mounting bracket this has an arrow in it so make sure the arrow points back and the rubber feet on the bottom and those two hardware in there and okay, let me tighten this tightened. Okay, time to slide the bidet seat into the mounting bracket in order to do that we had to press this button on to the right down here and that opens up the little catch then you should be able to slide the bidet in with some effort and then it clicks. Okay, let's talk about the plumbing hookup for this bidet. Fairly simple, all you're doing is putting a T uh, on where the toilet line is normally hooked up. And then a T off of that is this particular hose. Right, for the plumbing to the bidet, uh, there's two O-rings here. You just squeeze it into that nice and flush. Once it's seated, um, there is a lock -in, locking mechanism that's provided. And you just have to push that tight and that clamps on. And then there's a lock in front that you press. Click, click. You'll hear two clicks and that should keep it nice and tight so it doesn't come off. Most bidets have a threaded fitting here, but this is a quick release so you can take the bidet off if you need to clean or something like that. A quick note here that, you know, I do have a dedicated hot water line here. Most houses will not have this. Um, you do not need this for this bidet. All you need is your cold water line, which every house has it next to the toilet. But you do need a GFCI protected outlet. The next thing we're gonna put the batteries on the remote. Um, you can put your remote right there, right next to your toilet and hopefully never lose it. If the remote is not functioning or lost, you still have the ability to run the bidet using this auto button function. I've been using this bidet for a few days now and I've experienced all the features and all the bells and whistles that comes with it. And I would like to go over the pros and cons of this uh, particular bidet. Stay with me on this. So let's talk about materials. Nice, solid, comfortable material. And these are made with polypropylene and not the 
cheap uh, ABS material that cracks. This can take on a lot of weight, including uh, you know pretty heavy weight, like 400 pounds rated. That's a lot for a seat. Um, and one other benefit is it is also uh, coated with a material that prevents germs from sticking to it. So as you can see, the metal spray nozzle is indeed stainless steel, which is a really good solid material as well as, you know, pretty good with germs not sticking to it or getting dirty as well. Talking about metal materials, even the remote is made of a rose gold um, metal. One more material out here, the T connection is 100% full metal plumbing and that is appreciated because I've seen plastic T's that crack right in the middle and create leaking problems. So. That is a good one. So all the materials are solid in my opinion and the installation was pretty easy as well. All right, now let's talk about the design factor. So what do you think? This is probably one of the slimmest bidets I've ever seen when it comes to the full seat bidets. You notice here, you're only a couple of inches higher um, over here and about here, it's about three and a half inches high. So it's really slim. Um, there are slimmer bidets uh, in the high-end range, but this I feel like is the slimmest I've seen in the mid-range bidets. Okay, another design feature, you know, is, is the the slow close, and it like perfectly mates into that. And even the bumpers look integrated and quite neat, instead of having like uh, heavy bumpers. So even when it shuts down, it doesn't make any sound. Really cool on that aspect. Let's also look at a couple of other nice features. There is. Uh, integrated water inline filter right here and that's a nice design in my opinion you know just putting it here you could take it out and clean it put it back you all can see the nice glow blue glow in here and that is a night light and that is always on if you need to and that gives a good nighttime location when you don't want to turn on the bathroom light it still is lit so that's a good design and there you have it. Uh, design wise, I really like how it looks. No complaints there. All right, moving on to comfort and experience. That's why we buy a bidet in the first place. So let's start with comfort features. We do have a seat warmer right here in this seat and that seat warmer temperature can be adjusted here with uh, medium, uh, high or low or off. So heat can be seated when you're sitting in the winter or something. That is one of the most luxurious feeling, you know. And also a dryer, uh, the air comes through here and that also has three levels of heat uh, when it dries. The dryer runs for four minutes and you can stop anytime within that as well. That's a nice comfort feature. The always instant hot water within the reservoir. So this is one of those nicest features that, you know, in like cheap bidets, you'll get the cold water first and for like 30 seconds and then your hot water kicks in or you have to pre-run lots of water in order to get the hot water. This is always hot water because it's electrically heated water, maintains the proper temperature of what temperature you want. And like I also mentioned before, uh, the weight capacity is 400 plus pounds on this seat. So that's a lot of, uh, heavy weight for this particular seat. It also has a, a pulsing cold hot massaging feature as well. Um, it has uh, right here on the remote that says HC massage. It pulses as well as it uh, alternates hot and cold water if you want like a good massaging feature and all that stuff. And finally, customer service. We gotta give that with the experience as well. Excellent customer service on both sides, both on the Econova company as well as the company that's uh, um, selling this, which is the minibidet.com. And they are extremely good in customer service. They follow up even for regular sales and also sit with you to go over what your requirements are and give you the right bidet and give you the right support for lifetime of that bidet. So that is somebody to check out and I leave the link in the description as well so you can buy directly from them. You get 10% off on your next purchases and so on. Finally, on the pros, let's touch on the safety side of things. Like I mentioned earlier, germ protection, all these surfaces, the remote, the nozzle, and all that uh, is coated with uh, some material that prevents germs from attaching. As well as we have UV sanitation 
uh, inside the water is getting UV treated so that no germs accumulate while the water is stagnant inside the reservoir as well as in the nozzle. So that is a, a big plus in terms of, you know, every water coming out of there does not have any contamination. And on top of that, there's backflow prevention too. The valves out here prevent the bacteria or anything flowing from this water flowing back into your housing water. So that prevents if you have a kitchen behind here or something, you know, you don't get contaminated. And no other bidet does it other than these high-end bidets. That is something to be aware of. European uh, rules like UK mandates those for bidets. Uh, in the United States, we don't have that, but this bidet does have that safety feature that is good for uh, preventing cross-contamination. Um, so the backflow prevention, as well as the seat sensor, as you can see this big sticker out here, that is not a weight sensitive sensor. It's actually, a, um, I believe like a, a light sensor, if I'm not wrong. So when you sit there, it activates. What that does is basically, if you're not sitting there, the water does not shoot out. So that prevents any flooding or any accidentally child jumping on there or something like that, turning it on and playing with the remote. Uh, nothing happens at that point. And finally, on the safety side, this is something important that the plumbing is only one little tube, which actually prevents uh, more damage from happening. Because when you have multiple tubes going from here to here and the hot water from somewhere else, the chance of leaking is more. This is only one connection and it's done right. And you don't have to worry about leaking or flooding for a very long time. They have a one year manufacturer warranty and you could purchase further years of warranty while you purchase the bidet as well. So that is all the pros, but let's look at the cons. You always have some problem with every product, but in this product, I've seen some wish list basically more than problems, but I'll just go through this. You tell me if that's a problem or not. I don't feel like it is, but some things are always bothering me. And these are those. First of all, these stickers, look at them. The sensor sticker and that sticker it's really stuck in there, almost impossible to take it out. I don't know if they intended to leave there. I would like to take them off, but it doesn't have to be this big. It could be like tiny and designed better. Now, if you look at the nozzle, you know, it comes out like that and it can extend further back and forth and that pulsates and gives you any angle where you want uh, your bidet water to be shooting at, but it does not do side by side. I wish it does. If it does side by side, then you have like a big coverage of areas that it could clean. Uh, I don't know if other bidets actually have it or not, but uh, it would be a really nice feature if they actually implement not only this way, but also side to side a little bit. The next complaint I have is this power button. Um, there are multiple colors that it turns on, like there was white, blue, red, green, and I honestly don't know what it does. I've gone through um, the user manual page by page and tried to see if there's anything indicated here. Maybe I'm missing it. If anyone knows, please leave it on the comment. Uh, but I honestly don't know what the purpose is. And talking about user manual, uh, came with a decent user manual, but the font is so light and um, small. So it's really hard to read actually. Uh, but that's one of my little complaints, mainly because you know bidets and a lot of older people use this. And if you give a user manual that you can't read normally or to like use a magnifying glass to do it. It's not a good idea, you know, I would say. Print a little thicker font and that'll be nicer. And finally, another um, cons that I have or another feature I do not like is the fact that if I unplug here, um, the presets go away. Every time a power outage happens, it resets to everything medium and then you have to reset it when you're sitting. Just a simple uh, three button thing, but still I wish uh, a memory feature was available for that. Now talking about that, those are available on the premium bidets. The same company, Nova Bidet also has the Ultra Nova, which is about $1,200 I believe. And that has all the features that um, I'm complaining about basically here. I'll go through some of those features that this bidet does not have, but the one step above bidet has, which is twice the cost. But uh, the premium bidets like Toto and Nova Ultra and all of them have it. Here you go. I'll tell you, one of them is uh, the seat up and down automation. Um, then another 
feature is a child mode. Then a uh, main feature that's missing on this bidet that other bidets do have on the higher end is an enema feature. What is the enema? It's basically shooting out uh, a really high pressure water onto your rear end and that clears out everything from inside out. And user presets as well, like I said, you know, if two people are using the same toilet, you could have your own preference or where you want the nozzle to be. You don't have to be setting it every time. Uh, that is on the higher end. We don't have that here. And finally, other luxury features like, you know, Bluetooth speakers playing music or masking your sounds with generated sounds or something like that on the high-end bidets, you know, those are not available on this bidet, as well as no option to change the light color, it's blue. Uh, if you want to change it to multicolor LEDs, it does not have that option. And finally, this is just a seat. It's not a seat and a toilet together. You do have units, two, three thousand dollar units that are like one piece with everything. They can also auto flush, auto clean the bowl and all that stuff. Uh, we don't have that either, you know, just to be clear. Now, you can get all those if you just pay a lot more money, but for under $700, this probably is the best bang for the buck for all the features it offers, the heated seats, the air drying, the uh, stainless steel nozzle, and the pulsating um, uh, sprays, as well as the remote. And I also have to point out, the remote is also a radio frequency remote and not a old school infrared remote. What does that mean? Which means you can point anywhere, any place, <laughs> and it'll still work effectively, you know? Uh, no delay at all, you know, in the olden, you have to like TVs, you know, you remember you have to point to it and do all that magic. This one is not that. This is a much more modern and it works every single time. So there you have it. Those are all the awesome features that the Eco Nova bidet comes with. I'm really liking it. I'm going to permanently leave it in this toilet and I'm happy to present to you all, you know, the code that you could use and get some discount as well. And tell me, you know, how you feel about this video as well as if you purchased the product, how do you feel about it? And also follow the channel and give it a like if you like. I know it's a very long video, but if you're gonna do a long, uh, a huge investment, something like this for your comfort, it's a lot of money, but still it's totally worth it. That's what I feel like. So I hope I can see you in the next video or I can interact to you in the comments. So tell me how it is and I'll see you pretty soon in the next video let's do some other bidet or check out my other auto channel and all my DIY other stuff as well okay I'll see you in the next video if you use the link in the description many bidets will send a 10% rebate on Nova bidet purchases